For my third cultural interaction, I interviewed the same student I have been with over the past two times, Eric from Beijing, China. My first question in our interview was, what motivated him to learn new things in and out of school? His reply to this was that his parents were extremely motivating towards education. They expected very highly of him. And he was also self-motivated. He was motivated to become an engineer, just like his father. The next question I asked had to do with how intelligence was um, defined in their culture. And he said that intelligence is defined as just going to class, going to school, and being good at it. He said that people study all the time it is extremely important to their education, that they spend a lot of time on it and work really hard at their education. Next, I asked some of the differences between our culture and his. I explained a little bit about ours before, and I explained that we had some group discussions, um, group projects we had a lot in my high school growing up, and we, do, we still do in college. I explained that we got time. We got our lesson from our teacher, and then we got time to complete our homework. And after I told him this, he explained how our schools were a little different. And he said that during his school year, he learns from the teacher. They te The teacher talks most of the time and teaches them about different subjects. And afterwards, they have to take their schooling and their homework home. And they spend hours at night completing their homework. Another difference I thought or heard when Eric was telling me how they choose a career that they want to partake in early and even in grade school, they take classes to help prepare themselves for that career. As if he is, he chose to do, be an engineer just like his father, and he has been taking um, an engineering class every year since he chose to be, become an engineer, which I thought was definitely a little different. Here we choose usually either in high school, our senior, junior year, or even in college sometimes we choose what we want to do. Next is the culture. I asked him about the culture importance of education and at this point he kind of chuckled a little bit and um, he's like, that is the most important thing growing up. You focus on that and you focus on what your career is going to be and you focus on schooling, studying, and a little bit of fun with your friends, but not nearly as much as it is here. I explained that um, here education is important. It really, we really do put a focus on it, but we also, as growing up as a kid, we play sports, we hang out with our friends, and I would say it's a little more equally balanced here than it is over in Beijing, China, from what Eric explained to me. Next, I asked Eric about the culture expectancy of taking classes after they're done being mandatory, so as in going to college. He said that in his culture, it's becoming more and more prominent that people go to college and it's being more expected. And he really wants to do this for his parents because both of his parents went to college. He wanted to come over to America and get an American education and then return home to China after to be an engineer. And he said that this is becoming more and more common, and a lot of his friends are actually here in America going to college and then plan to return home after they are done getting their degree. I learned a lot from this interaction, probably the most out of any of the interactions we had, just because it was me asking him questions and him answering uh, about the education. I learned that they put a lot more time, energy, and focus into their education than we usually do here. Um, there are some that do the same here, but um, overall, I think they put a little more importance on the education and focus on that. Here we have other activities. Some of us partake in sports, clubs, and we just have friends and hang out with them more and do study groups and partake in things like that, which I think is a little bit different than how it is in China. And I hope to continue to keep learning about their culture and education and different aspects of their culture.